Hey everyone, Emmett here with Four Seasons Sales and Service, and I have a special guest with you today. You may recognize the face. His name is Don Kermuth with Dark Horse Secrets, and he happens to have published a brand new book called Lotion Sales Secrets, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about that today. So here we go. Emmett, love being here. Love Four Seasons. It's my favorite distributor in the world. I absolutely am so excited to be here today with you and with all of the people who um, uh, use Four Seasons. Yes, you are exactly right. I have a new book out called Lotion Sales Secrets. It is the surefire system to maximize lotion sales without being manipulative or demeaning. And uh, the demand has been off the charts, the positive responses and reviews have been absolutely incredible already. Well, that's awesome, Don. Um, so without, let's just get to the meat. Let's just get to the good sure. stuff. Here. It's a bit, we're in the middle of busy season for everyone. Yep. You have yep. lots of experience in the industry. How many years do you have in the tanning industry? I opened my first store in 1998. So I've been in it for a minute or two. So you you know you've been through the battles, you've been through the good times, you've been through the worst of the worst. Uh, with the economy the way it is right now, we're not seeing as great results that we want to, but I see things picking up right now. It seems like we've had a late busy season. So, uh, you know, for salon owners, what is the number one tip or secret that you can give them that they can take and put into play right now? So as in regards to lotion sales, I think the First and foremost thing that you have to get across to your staff is that you are not selling lotion to yourself. You are selling a product. That you've, in fact, it's a high-end luxury product that has a lot of value that you're selling to your customer that comes into the store. So don't assume just because you can't or don't want the very best product and lotion for yourself that your customer doesn't want the very best or product for yourself. So I, I call this in the book, don't drop your pants, right? Don't discount right away. Just um, understand that your service and your product has value and you provide a very valuable service to the customer. So don't drop your pants, maintain your personal value and understand that you are selling a high quality, high end product. And we are seeing a lot of high end, high quality products come out, especially with the 2023 launch. But we're also seeing a lot of more economic versions, a lot more economic lotions that are getting great results for customers and kind of piggybacking off what you just said and kind of a hot topic in the industry right now. I don't want to try to catch you off guard, but uh, we are seeing a lot of people saying that they're seeing products, for example, on Amazon and they're seeing products for sale in Walmarts. And I noticed that one of your secrets in your book is has to do with diversion control. And uh, so kind of tell us a little about, you know, your take on uh, seeing those products there and what that means for the industry and, and how to control that diversion. Oh, that's a that's an excellent, very, very excellent hot topic because I see a lot of angst on the Facebook groups where they're concerned about diversion, about lotion sales and what they can do about it. And they're angry, uh, upset, frustrated. But in the book, I have an entire chapter devoted to uh, controlling and managing diversion. And it's, it's two very simple policies that you can incorporate into your salon. Plus, I have a poster, a room poster that you can put in the salons that talk to the customer about the value of one using a uh, high quality indoor tanning lotion and two purchasing it from you and not from another source. Uh, the poster is in the book on the back of the book, but uh, if you want a high res version of it, I have a, a direct link in the book to get your own copy of that poster in high res version. So you can print it out yourself or at your you know local FedEx um, office store. But the two policies that we can do, and I've seen other salon owners do this. I didn't uh, necessarily invent this technique, but one is that they they hold campaigns called, uh, it's, it's a trade-in program or cash for clunkers if you use this uh, analogy that they use with cars. I've seen that done. I also created a poster for that as well called the Cash for Clunkers program. And basically is if you see someone come in with um, a non-salon product 
or uh, an off-the-shelf product or anything like that is that you trade in their product, you offer them a discount. We do 25%. I think that that's a, a reasonable thing to do. You take their product out of their hands, off their shelves. You let them know that, you know, this product could be inferior. This product, uh, if it's a Walmart brand, Panama Jack, whatever it is, you're just taking it out of their hands and you're you're buying it from them. You're giving cash for clunkers. The other thing that we've seen, and, and really this has um, a huge, huge morale boosting effect on your employees. Because for me as a business owner, I'm not so affected by online sales. I understand this is an economic thing. I'm in competition. I have competitors everywhere, but my staff get very frustrated. They get demoralized. So if we can combat that in some small way by encouraging the sales in the store by trading in these products, then it boosts the morale of the employees and they're encouraged to also sell outside of, of this program. Okay, Don, so one of the things that I'm noticing uh, in digital marketing, we run a lot of ads and we're noticing that customers uh, tend to kind of balk at some of the price points that we have. Um, and I just don't think they're, they, they understand the value of what they're getting. And so I think one of the main concerns that we have is uh, maybe tanning salon owners is maybe educating our staff on how to respond to those issues. And so what I noticed in your book, Secret Number Seven, kind of talks about handling pricing concerns. So kind of kind of give the, the viewer here an idea of what to expect in your book about handling some pricing concerns. And that's a that's a great, great um, question because it it covers a whole lot of issues when it comes to sales. And the first being a pricing objection, or I like to call them opportunities, because whenever the customer is communicating with me, I know that the conversation is still going on. They haven't said no. They've just told me something that uh, maybe is is a stumbling block or a barrier to the sale that I just have to overcome. And it might be a false belief that I have to crush and smash. All right. This is a this is a really good uh, question because pricing objections are very common with high-end products like indoor tanning lotions. And what we do is if you have a situation, for example, you have a hundred dollar bottle of lotion and it is a 13 ounce bottle, you get about 25, 26 sessions out of there. That's about four bucks a session. And if you're paying 30 or $40 for that session, then the product, the lotion you're putting on, which can get you 30 or 40 or 50% more color is only about 10% of the cost of the lotion. And it's going to last you 26 sessions. So we just break it down per session which is what a lot of people do for their memberships, right? They break it down by day, okay? The membership's really only $1, $1.50 a day. Well, do the same thing with the lotion. Break it down by the price. It makes it a lot more reasonable and it, it brings it into the mind of the customer. Yeah, you're right. It's really not that much more expensive. Uh, it's not as expensive as I thought it was. That's all about that received value for your customer. And that's a really great point to bring up. And you're still, you know, I, re I don't want to give your whole book away here, Don, but yeah, let's, yeah. let's give them a couple more things to uh, that they could expect to when they read your book and uh, kind of playing on with pricing opportunities or concerns again, or selling opportunities, as you call them. I love that terminology. Uh, one of the things I don't know how much food I bought from Sam's Club uh, walking around and getting a sample. And so. Uh, I noticed one of your tips is uh, lotion sampling turns lookers into buyers. And so also some, sometimes we can get carried away with this. We, I tell uh, from a marketing standpoint, I tell my team is like, we don't want to throw all the options at someone at once. We want to kind of narrow those down. And so I think part of it comes into play with us educating our staff. And so what can they expect on the topic of sampling and, and, and such in your book? All right. Well, this is another great secret in the book. And I learned this from uh, David McFarlane. I, I attended an online webinar of his. I extracted all of the great stuff that David was talking about. I added to it to make a sampling program complete with scripts, everything that you should say to the customer at every stage of the uh, sampling program. But the first and most important thing I want to make very clear about a sampling program where you're giving away free samples of lotion is it's not about making it rain lotion down on everyone else. This is a very, very targeted 
very specific system that you're using with your ideal customer who there's an opportunity for a sale. And there's some other opportunities here because what we have done is we've turned this in an opportunity to get the customer to write five-star online reviews for us. And we have we have more than doubled our five-star online reviews by using this sampling program that I outline in secret number nine of the book called Lotion Sampling That Turns Lookers Into Buyers. So I think it would be fair to say, Don, that if tennis on owners pick up a copy of your book, uh, you can get it at Four Seasons. There's other avenues as well. But we can stick one of these in your next order. That would be the easiest way to get this. I think it's fair to say that like the easiest thing for a salon owner to do is just pick up a copy of this and hand it to a new employee and say, hey, read this before they get started. I, I mean, is that fair to say? That's um, that's one way to do it. And, and we have done that plus. So in our stores, as you can imagine, we're a little bit more in depth than just the hand to the employee. It is part of their their new employee onboarding system. But what we'll do is at every employee meeting, which we have two times a month, is we will grab a secret out of the book and we'll cover that secret just for that one particular training. And then for the next two weeks, because our meetings are every two weeks, that's what we'll hit. We'll send We'll send SMS messages to our staff reminding them about different parts of the secret. We'll have training messages in the salon from the secret. We'll tell them where in the everyone gets a copy of the book. We we give every employee a copy of the book. We tell them where in the book uh, to find that secret. And we also carry hard copy versions of the book in the store that we get the hard copy ones because they're more durable. We give the paperback copies to the employees for them to take home. And that I think is the ideal way to use the lotion sales secret book. Well, there's a hundred pages of picking Don's brain in here just on lotion sales secrets. I'm kind of interested in what else you've got in there, Don. Uh, I know you do a fantastic job marketing. I see your e-blasts. Uh, we've heard you speak last year at the National Tanning Expo. Utilize the sources that you have around you, such as experts in the fields and veterans in the fields, such as Don. And uh, don't reinvent the wheel. If he's went through the trials and tribulations of how to sell lotions, I suggest that you listen to what he's got to say. Don, is there any other secret or anything out of this book that you kind of want to give them a little insight into uh, that they might look forward to? Just, just don't give them all of it, you know, because we want them to buy your book, of course. But uh, well, I don't mind uh, sharing the entire book if you wanted to. It's still going to be valuable for them to have it in their hands so that they can um, keep referring to it because it's not something you're going to learn right away. Uh, what I want everybody to understand is that this this is a couple decades worth of knowledge, not mine. Um, it's the knowledge that I acquired from other experts that you referred to um, in the industry. I, these these are the thoughts and and um, knowledges of of many many experts in the industry. I've taken some of them and made them my own, and really improved upon them. But you are right; there are a lot of people in the industry, and what is in here is you have the exact things you should say to the customers. Because I know for my staff, uh, there are a lot of them are Gen Z, some are millennials, and they they just stumble over their tongue. They don't know what to say. We have the exact scripts in here. If you just follow the scripts, I guarantee success. You heard it there. Don guarantees success if you buy his book. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, if you follow the principles in his book, uh, there, there's no way that you can't find success along the way. So Don, I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, I hope Thank your you. book is successful. I hope your salons are having a great busy season. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. And um, yeah, pick up a copy of the book. Yep. Uh, pick up several. Buy, get them for everyone. Get 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 a copy for every one of your, your employees. For sure. Until next time, guys. It's Lotion Sales Secrets with Don Kermit of Dark Horse Secrets. Catch you next time.